Okay, survivors. Welcome to The Long Dark. I love this game. This is a great game. And you may be wondering why why this game now? Why are you playing this game now? Why revisit this game now? Because this is one of those games that when you want to just dive in head first into a game and just get lost, forget about the world, this is one of those games. This is a really great game. And that's one of several reasons why I'm uh, revisiting it. But probably the best reason is one, a family member of mine who is unable to play this game right now at this point in her life uh, asked me to play this game and so she can hang out and kind of watch the game and so kiddo this one's for you i love you everybody else watching this one's for you i love you let's get into this game i'll tell you why my other reasons for playing this game in a little bit but right now let's just jump right into it So as you can see, The Long Dark is a five-part episodic adventure called Wintermute, and we are starting with episode one, Do Not Go Gentle. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where she begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. Joker. <sighs> Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again.
Your cold, start a fire. J for info. Pass the time. Your cold, start a fire. Alright, so... This shows our stats. This shows our clothing, which is very important. Gear. Crafting stuff. Uh, like... Journal objectives, like lore and stuff. And the map, which we don't have yet. And I think I the think smartphone on the desk is new. That I think was added in an update. So we need. Is that Jägermeister? We need to start a fire. Now, I absolutely, absolutely love this because I don't remember. I played this episode one, but I don't remember anything about how to do anything. So I need to gather up some stuff to start a fire. One of the I mean, I really... Oh yeah, matches. Definitely. I really love survival games. Especially this one. Because... First off, it's made with the Unity engine, which it doesn't look like it. I mean, it looks like we just stepped into a watercolor. Like... Oh, the Unity engine, can, to me, sometimes can look pretty ugly when people overdo it. This studio, Hinterland Games, really knows how to just keep it keep keep it to a dull roar you know what I mean okay so all right yeah you know what I mean they don't overdo it now a lot of times starting a fire is tricky when you're out in the wind and stuff because um you need accelerant and I don't have any accelerant but we're inside the wood stove so I think we could just match it so, right. so it's, it says the uh, the duration of time with the with the with the fuel we have in the fire, the temperature of the fire, which should be a lot hotter. Uh, this has cooking slots, which are very important to see. And if you look to the bottom left, you'll see our stats. Our temperature is rising. Um, our hunger, our thirst. What's the one with the eye? I don't remember. Oh, how tired I am. I don't- I think they might have changed that icon. I don't remember it being like that. Um... Okay, let's see. Great Bear Island. Dad used to fly there all the time. He said it used to be beautiful. Not much reason to go there these days. Since the quakes and all. So, I'm not used to, uh... Search these drawers. I'm not used to uh, playing with commentary, but you'll find me to, to be pretty courteous as far as shutting up when Jackrabbit remote transport. As far as um, like when the, the game Jackrabbit remote transport. Zero flights a day to the mainland communities and, well, anywhere really. Just like that. Look, when the game says something, I shut up. And it's just me trying to be courteous. Damn, I was right. Pipes froze up again. So, I mean, this is not like. I was talking about graphics, kind of. It's. This isn't like a AAA title, like. It's going to have graphics that blow your freaking head off, but it's so unique looking. It's just like, I just love it. It's like you just stepped into a watercolor and it's not too, where's that radio? Oh, it's electrical. It's not too over the top. It's not ugly. It's definitely, like, this is not an attractive part of the game. Even it has it, it's beautiful, beautiful moments. It really does. Add fuel. Yeah, why not? So you'll see the temperature rise. 
grows dramatically and um, the duration of time as well. Now normally I could take this cooking pot and slap it on there and melt snow? Where did I get snow? Okay, and you can speed up time if you want to, but um, it's not real time, it's game time. You'll see it's already down a minute, so it, it's not that big deal. We got stuff to do anyway. Uh, we need to explore the hangar. This door has to be locked. I think they increased the sprint as well. So, uh, I was saying there's reasons why I am revisiting this game now. Oh yeah, there's no jump. That's one big thing in the game. I'm hitting space by right now and it brings up this, this radial uh, menu. That's a big thing in the game when you're building the game, whether you're going to allow the player to jump. Oh, I need, I need. I don't remember needing my parka this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. Getting pretty late in the day. I guess I could take a nap. Take the parker yet? Didn't it just say take the parker? Now see, I could take a nap, but what might happen is uh, we still have 40 minutes. What will happen is the snow will melt and the uh, candy bar, blue piece of candy, the the water will evaporate and our our uh, water will be gone. Oh, and the fire will be out. For some, it usually gives me the option to what could that be decide how long. You know, I uh... oh, you have to boil it too. You have to, to make it potable. You have to melt it then boil it. It usually gives me the option of how long to sleep for, but that time it didn't because I think it's just part of the story. Jackrabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. For once, we you not be so damn Whoa, well, well, slow down, Marie. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know you need the money. The weather service... It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh, Hello, Will. Wh what are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> No, no, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you going to help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. When it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. 
Then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you in some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost, all because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. The story is... The story gets really good. Let's see. Two people, plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. I can totally use a snack. Ooh, a piece of candy. It's really important in this game, you gotta keep a close eye on your stats. Load Astrid's gear into the plane. Where do I know that name from? Astrid. Oh. Now see, these boxes, normally you can search, and the plastic ones, I believe, have good stuff. Oh, the crouch used to be really messed up in this game. It's still kind of funny. It was broken, I remember that. Uh, you can break down almost anything, like these boxes, normally you can. I just gotta look around for stuff. Where do I know that name Astrid from? The Mysterious Case. Astrid definitely doesn't want to talk about what's it. Astrid's traveling pretty light. Oops. Wherever she's going, she must not be planning to stay long. I skipped that dialogue by accident, sorry. Um, how to train your dragon. The little girl's name was Astrid. Okay, so I can transfer stuff from here to the hatch. Just need to grab my parka and we can go. Alrighty then. I don't believe there's anything else. Oh, that's new. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to rotate it? Okay, so it said pass the time until ready. See how I did that? It happened really fast. So, which reminds me, everything's a bit faster and smoother because part of the reason why I'm replaying this game is because I. Oh. The distress pistol kit is heavy, but I'd hate to end up in an emergency situation without it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot this. I built myself a new computer. Which is why I'm playing this game. Which is why I want to play a lot of games. Because I now have a kick ass computer with one of the best graphics cards that money can buy. We're in what? Your ring. Our ring. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just forgot to take it off. I wear mine too. Why? Memories, I guess. I thought you wanted to forget. Not all of it. Look, I, 
I should have looked for you. It's okay. I've kept busy. I've moved on. You sure? Because this all seems pretty familiar. You still working with that researcher, Doctor? What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? I'm not here to fight, really. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. You don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... But just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Will? That's a bed. There's no... Just 
sprained wrist, pain, pain. We need to stop blood loss. So we need to use a bandage on that. There we go. So now we need to start a fire. And it's red until... I swear the rotate thing is new. Um... I don't have enough wood, I feel. Let me just see if I can't... I have nothing to administer anymore. down into a tinder. Right, that should be good to get a fire if we started. Feels so good. Why don't you feel good? Drink a soda. Feel better. Start a fire. Feels so good. Why can't I? Why can't I share a fire? There we go. I, ha I have a feeling I put it way, way too close to the bed. There's a great chance that it's not going to light. All right. I don't feel so good. I need to rest up. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I just want to get like, a couple more pieces of wood. Oh, that's gonna kill us. So cold in my life. Oh, that was a light shimmer. Uh, add fuel. And the reason why this is so important is because I actually want to save a couple of these. Because we're going to take a nap right now. Astrid hasn't come looking for me. Which means she can't come looking for me. Because she's hurt. Or worse. I'd better get back up to the crash site. Okay. Sorry, I need to collect some wood first. So now we just need to warm up. You know the drill. We've been here before. So we need to just warm up. Come on. Come on. No. Damn it. Damn it. That is awful. Try that again. I wish I had some accelerant. 
try a newspaper instead. Come on. Come on. Alright, good. We need fuel real quick. And I don't want to have to break any of this stuff down. So I need... Oh, I thought that was... Wood. I need to find... Reclaim wood. Such as that, such as that. Such as that, such as that. Alright. We need to warm up, we need to... Make water, we have a can. Alright. Burn it all. Okay, so we are... We need to pick up our can. We're warm, we're hydrated, we're just hungry. And, uh... If we're not gonna find food out down here. That container is empty. And I believe the way we get out of here is... Yes, yes, no. I could probably climb that. Oh no. I thought it was a stick. That's what I'm doing. That's gonna be heavy. I've never been so hungry in my life. Wait a second, can we eat these? We can make a tea out of them, but can we eat them now? Hips. I'm gonna take them, but I honestly don't. I, I think don't I'm gonna make it. I don't. Let me know if the mouse sensitivity is too high. I had to turn it down. It started off on like 60, and I turned it all the way down to like 20, I think. I know I can get a little crazy if it's too high. I have a really good mouse pad. Finally now. made it. It's on a really good mouse pad, so. Alright, we need something to eat, man. Like that. Or we're gonna be, like, hurt for sure. Are those plane parts? Oh, right. My plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. 
poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Search for Astrid. Oh, orange soda. Not gonna drink it yet. I've been looking for you. Kenzie Parka, can we put it on? We already did. We already did. Wait. Inventory. Clothes. The ones with the little triangle on the corner are the ones that we are wearing. Very good. Astrid's back. Please tell me there's food in there. Yes. 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 <laughs> Three. Hmm. Locked. Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. Is there anything else floating around here? All right, we, we need to eat something. Anything. And that made us thirsty. Now these little sticks aren't that heavy. The big ones are, so I'm reluctant to grab it right now. Um, I just want to make sure that we have, we're wearing these gloves. We don't have any other gloves, okay. Yeah, let me grab that, just for us. Empty crate, we can break it down. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else to grab around here. And we're totally wasting energy by looking around when there's nothing to find. Sprinting, running, whatever, um, really reduces your stats like big time. Where do I go up here? She definitely passed through here, and in a hurry. How do you know? Sprinting can help you escape dangerous predators in bad weather. That's ominous. I could eat a horse. Uh, I don't have any more food. Find and equip. Dude, the crouch mechanic is still so weird. Did I get him? God, this is so hard. Alright, let me try this one more time. Oops. Never get him when he's running. He 
He's coming right for us. Dude. Come on now. If you think this is easy, you are mistaken. Now, if you don't run over... See? If you don't run over and grab them right away, they freaking take off. Damn it. And I don't remember exactly how to... I don't remember exactly how to dispatch them. Why would I release it? Someone's been here recently. Could it have been Astrid? What makes you say that? I know there's no jump mechanic, but I still try anyway. All the time. I know it's kind of vulgar killing the. Oh, that's why. Let's try and start a fire. The wind died down. That's the only reason I'm trying to start the fire. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Please start. Come on. Please start. Come on. Please start. Please start. Yes. Turned out pretty well. We are the best. Dude, how do I cook the frickin'... can't cook the rabbit without a pot. Damn it, man. I mean, we need you to warm up and make water anyway. But... I really wanted to cook the rabbit. If we get warm enough, we can venture on. Man, I really wanted to... I really wanted to cook the rabbit. Sucks. I don't remember if there was like a way... I need to harvest it first. Yes, I do. That'll do it. Now I can cook it. Sorry. I Like I said, I'm 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 relearning this game. Only one hour on the fire.
fresh fruit rabbit. Alright, that's 35 minutes. We can use a little more, uh... We're gonna need to eat soon. What the hell was that? Seriously, that was ridiculous. I don't even know why I threw that. Now meat goes bad really fast if you're not if you don't keep an eye on it. Bullshit. I'm looking for wood that I don't have to uh, break down because we're freaking starving. <laughs> We are starving. Twenty minutes, two hours, out of fuel anyway. Got a lot of sticks. Um Shit, I mean are we gonna survive for friggin' nineteen minutes until this is done? Find out. Come on. All right. One rabbit didn't do much. We, I think we need to eat another. <laughs> Damn it, my. Uh... Oh, I need to put some snow on. Smell it. For some reason, one of my my footprints just a second ago was a candy bar, and I got all excited. Let's go, a piece of candy. rabbit before it wakes up and runs away. Oops, forgot already. I need to harvest said rabbit. I have two. Harvesting a rabbit with a stick, that's probably not very easy. Yeah, so like I was trying to tell you earlier, I... The reason why I really want to play this game is because... I, I built myself a new computer, and I went back to... To, uh... You know, I got... Probably one of the best graphics cards that money can buy, and just the computer so in insanely fast that all games look amazing now. And even more importantly, all the recordings I make now are seriously the quality is like 60% 60, 60 better. Like it's nuts. And um, so I'm like stoked. I'm like I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna finish. You know, I've recorded. I played episode 1 of this game, I didn't get to play much of episode 2, and then I recorded the hell because I want. I got. I finally got back to it, and episode 3 came out, and I recorded the hell out of it. Okay, we're gonna put more water on this to stow, if you will. Can't make much at once. And then, um, so I, I, you know, I got the computer built, and of course I had to reinstall Windows and all that, and I'm Reputting all these games, I got hundreds and hundreds of games in Steam. And these save files, the, the cloud synchronization, somehow messed up, and not one single game was saved. Not one. All of them, all my data, that data was lost. And so I contacted Steam, and they said they've had this problem with. Um, 
with really old Steam accounts, which doesn't make any sense because I've downloaded, deleted and downloaded Steam like a thousand times. I remember when Valve first made Steam, I like the very first day it was available, I made a Steam account because I used to play this game, a Half-Life mod, if you're not familiar with it, called Counter-Strike. And I used to play it, like, religiously. At the time, it was, like, such a... It was, like, the first multiplayer I ever really got into, and it was such a great game. Like, I would come home from work and crack a brew and freaking shoot my friends in the face, you know? Like, that's how I unwound from the day. That was my thing. And I remember it, it moved... Valve owns the game Counter-Strike, or Half-Life, and it moved over to Steam. And I was like pissed off that I had to even make it. Uh, that I had to make a Steam account just to play a game. I need this crap. You gotta understand that back then, it was the first computer I ever owned just to play Counter Strike. Like I just the first one I can get my hands on that hold the graphics card, you know. And like now, it, compared to computers now, it's like it was like a shoebox with a calculator taped on the inside of it, like. It was such a rinky dink machine, but in it, nobody had high speed internet. It was all 56k, so that's what we we played on. 56k only servers, and they were packed all the time. This game was like a revelation. So, long story short, I got a really. Oh, uh, maybe we should drink this soda. Nah. Um, a really low Steam ID, like. One, it's a really old account, and for some reason, the, their older accounts are losing their, their uh, save files, which I, I don't even understand. They wouldn't explain it to me, like it was some kind of, like it was some kind of Steam secret or something, uh, whatever. So, you know, instead of getting mad or whatever, I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna, uh, Why didn't I cook this one? Oh, there's only one cooking spot on this fire, that's why. I'm just going to, uh, replay all these games, and one of the first ones I thought of was this. Like, like, see how pretty this guy looks? Later on in the game, it's gonna blow you away. Like, I know it's a simple looking game, it's not a AAA title. It's... Okay, we're gonna just take this for later. It's, it's not, you know, the, the, the nicest looking game in the world, but it's, to me, it's fucking fantastic. Alright, we're out in in like, five keys. Can I save? I'm sorry, I, I, I actually forgot if you could save in this game or not. Um... Astrid, where did you go? Venturing out at night is risky, but we don't have time to mess around. We don't have too many options. It's a wolf. I can't. Remember it, back in the in the plane hangar, I took a flare. Oh, is that a wolf? I better keep my distance. <laughs> I'm 
try to just skirt him. See what happens. I thought I could throw the torch at him. I really don't know. A flare gun uh, is really the only thing initially before we get a weapon to scare that wolf away, and it works really well. But when we were back at the uh, the plane hangar, I specifically remember taking a flare. Whoa! Looks like some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. So, fuck. Yeah, there was a flare gun on the shelf right by the, uh, by the plane. And I, I remember taking it, but I must have lost it in the crash. How do we get out of here? And get to said radio tower. Honestly, I don't remember, like, any of this, which is awesome. Really, really awesome. New location discovered, radio tower. I like the fact that I don't remember any of this. It's like we're playing it all over again. Oh, wait. Whoa. Someone's just sitting here, frozen. What the hell? Scenic view, yeah. I remember that. Dude, seriously, I... Great, a town. Maybe I can find help there. I'm psyched. I'm psyched. There's the town right there. We made it. That was a pain in the butt. Alright, guys. I I'm going to end this episode here. I know this is freaking really long. But, uh... I just get sucked into this game. And it's... You know, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. And come back for the next one. I'm going to crank this out. Like I said, I'm going to... I'm gonna re I, I recorded a lot of episode 3. And I think I'm going to re-record the whole thing. Because now... It's a totally different computer, a totally different, like, I am so much better at making recordings than I used to be. I'm just going to, uh, just go to town, and then by then, I have a feeling episode 4 is going to drop sooner than we think. So, it's good to see you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And I'm a